Porn addicted 23 year old. Oh, gee. Hey, Bill, no chill. I'm a 23 year old guy from Norway and I'm going to get straight to the point. Like many guy out there, I've been transfixed by porn ever since I found this curse. I love that you called it a curse when I was a little kid. Ever since I've been watching it once a day and sometimes even more until a couple months ago where I figured out that I was addicted to it. My addiction is not nearly as bad as other people had seen, but I noticed I was addicted nevertheless. In my case, my addiction was that I needed to watch it to masturbate. Oh, Jesus. I've been there. Don't get me wrong. I could still do little wank with my imagination. However, I didn't prefer it. Now I've been almost 30 days free and I feel great about it. That's awesome. I still get the urge though but managed to beat it off. Pun intended. Oh, this is like the pun week. Granted, it's not as hard as quitting smoking, I can imagine. Uh, you mentioned a couple times that you stopped watching porn a while ago. No, but then I relapsed. I've been, I've been doing it again, so I got to stop again. So I just, uh, I went from May to December. And now since December, I on and off. You know, the holidays are rough, everybody. <laughs> Every once in a while, you got to turn to porn to try to take the edge off. So I was just wondering what made you quit and do you think porn addiction is something we should take seriously? Absolutely. I think we're all lab rats. Social media, um, uh, porn and all of that stuff. And I think the powers that run social media and porn will then do what the cigarette companies do when the studies come out that say these things are bad and they're not good for you. They'll, they will flood the market with air quote doctors saying that it's healthy, that it's not that bad, blah, 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 blah. That's what always happens. Um, no, it's terrible. And the people that are in it were abused as kids. You know, nobody with options fucking gets into that thing. It's a terrible fucking thing and you're actually helping it out, you know? So it's be one less thing that human beings do to hurt other human beings that you could get away from if you choose to. While I say this, sitting here wearing clothes that were made by crying people in sweatshops that try to kill themselves, but can't because there's nets outside to prevent them from plunging to their death. All right. Husband slash wife, argument over the hole in the ground, literally. Dear back on the road, Bill. Wife and I agreed we both wanted a basketball hoop in our driveway and eventually decided on an in-ground one. Uh, being that I am the resident basketball expert in the house I played in high school. I decided where it should go on the driveway. Uh, she did give her opinion, but I used the scientific me method. I measured the exact length of the driveway. Oh, you went in. To find the exact mid... I was thinking my dad put one up. Uh, he thought the regulation was nine feet. <laughs> so we had a nine-foot rim. He built it himself, bought the hoop, it was actually cool, but like it was on a ridiculous, like probably like a a twenty to twenty five degree bank. So, so <laughs> you know, it was probably eight and a half feet if you were on the left side, and it was about nine and a half feet on the right side. But it was fun as shit. Um. Anyway, he said, uh, "Wife and I agreed. We both wanted to wanted a basketball hoop. Uh, blah 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 blah. I measured the exact length of the driveway to find the exact midpoint." so as to have an equal space on both sides of the rim for shooting, just like the pros do. That's great. We have a six-foot, uh, we have a six-feet overhang above our garage, which shortens the court on that end, so I moved the hole about 10 inches away from the side to increase the area o over there to shoot. Uh, we'll have, oh, so that probably messed with the symmetry that she didn't like with the house, right? Well, after breaking my back, digging the hole, the wife says that she, do, she doesn't like it, that it's too close to the road and that the ball will go out to the street too much. We are now on the fourth day of her not speaking to me over this issue. Oh, wow. It got to that level. I woke up today with a compromise. I filled the damn hole back in. Oh, of course. Of course, because it's all about their fucking feelings. Unbelievable. Do, do guys ever win that fucking fight? You can't win. If you win, then they just mope around and be a douche for the rest of time. Or you give in. And then they act like that's a fucking healthy relationship. Yeah, I'm telling you, all of this bullshit out there about how fucking toxic guys are and they ignore this aspect of fucking women. I swear to God that you are a fucking prisoner of their fucking emotions. That you have to find your happiness within the airspace of their fucking happiness. And they get to fucking do whatever the fuck they want. It's unfucking. fucking oh, Sorry. This, that shit just sets me up. 
Yeah, so of course you filled the fucking damn hole back in. Of course you did. This is why guys have funnier fucking stories. You know, where's, where's her funny? So I pouted and then he gave in and I, I, I watched, a, I watched I, you know, I enjoyed breaking his spirit. Then the guy's got the story of, so I'm fucking filling the fucking goddamn hole back in. It's hilarious. Anyways, and told her we will order a portable one that I can move whenever I want to shoot. All right, so you got a little bit back. Bill, my question is, should I have held the line being that she knows nothing about basketball? I am always the compromiser and bridge builder, and normally I'm okay with it, but on this, it really bothers me being her, her lack of understanding or e- on even uh, ever playing basketball, plus her literally acting like a child and locking herself in the room until she got her way. In my opinion, really bugs me. How do I kiss and make up on this? Uh, this is what you have to do. This is what you got to you got to play their game. You got to play the fucking guilt game. So this is what you do. OK, you fucking do exactly what the fuck she wants you to do. And then you tell her how unhappy it makes you. And then you don't fucking talk to her. You literally play the game back and be like, this is not this is this is an abusive relationship. That you do this and, you, and what's the thing? You can't say it in the tone that I'm saying it. You just got to be like, fine, we'll do it the way you want to do it. And I just want you to know that this makes me really unhappy. She's not even going to fucking play anything. You just convey to her how much pain she's bringing you by doing this constantly. And then that's what you have to do. And then in the end, when she goes, oh, I'm sorry, you can put the hole back. And now you got to go out and dig the fucking hole again. All right? You have to tell her that we need to work on this part of the relationship. All right? I'm just going to say it the way I'd say it to a guy. You got to fix it up for her because this is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. All right, let's just say next time I dig a hole, I ain't putting a fucking basketball hoop in it. You understand what I'm saying? No, no don't go that far, but you know what I mean. It's so fucking ridiculous, and I swear to God, that right there is the normal. That right there is the normal. With all these fucking stats out there that all these fucking stupid feminists are throwing out there, just like the fucking cigarette companies, throwing all of this shit out to, to, to support their side of the argument and acting like they, they want equal footing. They don't. They do not. They do not because they completely ignore this. Oh, you got me going on a Monday. Um, am I wrong to be jealous of boyfriend using sex apps and watching porn? No, it's, it's, it, that's your line. If that's how that makes you feel, you should communicate that to him and then he should respect that. See? See that, ladies? I'm not always on the fucking guy's side. Like, that basketball hoop thing, the fucking dude was right. The lady was wrong. And on this one, she's right. Okay, hello from Alaska. Oh, wait a minute. Alaska? What the fuck else is he going to do? Go outside and get eaten by a bear? Um, I love your podcast, Monday podcast and enjoy your straightforward answers. I'm 31 years old and have been with my boyfriend for about 10 years now. You guys are taking it slow, huh? Recently, he's been downloading all these apps that are kind of making me wonder and I guess feel insecure or, uns- or unsure. Oh, he's downloading all these apps. For instance, apps like Find More Fish in the Sea, Fuck Milfs Now, Cheaters.com, Live Sex Now apps, Fuck Locals apps, so on and so forth. He claims he just does it to look. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. What's he going to download next? How to kill your girlfriend at 10 years? Ah, I'm just into true crime. And he's not doing it to act on anything, but still it makes me mad. Am I wrong for feeling this way? Absolutely not. And he's been with you for 10 years and he hasn't married you and now he's looking at this shit? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Not only are you right to feel this, get out of this relationship. All right? Um, Should I ignore? He claims like, it's just like watching porn, <laughs> but come on. Fuck locals now. Uh, red flag or is it just me? Looking forward to your response. Is it just a red flag? It's, it's the fucking Soviet Union. Dude, I, I, I don't even know what the fuck to tell. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Okay, you're 31 years old. You still got your life ahead of you. Get the fuck out of that thing now. That's a, that's a crock of shit. That's a crock of fucking shit. That's the easiest question ever. Why would you be looking at those apps? Exactly. Exactly. You're looking to, 
You're looking for a new love, baby.